Hey everybody, it's Saturday. I'm Robert Biggerstaff here with the Hustle Nation. Hope you're having a phenomenal day. You know, I kind of did a video today of, um, hey, what's just happened before mm, one o'clock? And uh, we've gotten home, um, just kind of taking it easy. And we picked up a dump trailer, went to the dump with it, had to go pick some other stuff up and uh, ran some errands, got a bite to eat and everything. But I have a lot of people say, oh man, well, what all goes on in your day and what happens and everything like this? This is just a little clip. Hey, this is, you know, five hours of being an entrepreneur, being a business owner, having a side hustle, having a main hustle, just out hustling, okay? So watch it. Maybe you learned something. Hopefully it'll help somebody and uh, make your life a little bit easier. Be productive, be profitable. Hey everybody, my name's Reynolds Robert. I'm with uh, Hustle Nation here. We are all about financial freedom, doing better, having more decisions to do what we want, how we want, and when we want. So enjoying life, getting rid of that toxic nine to five possibly or whatever it is that's weighing you down, but start living that ideal life. I just wanted to say I appreciate you subscribing to the channel. I appreciate you telling your friends about it and hitting that like button, ding, ding. See, I ain't all fancy and everything, just redneck, ding, ding. See how that's, where it, that's the way it works, but thank you so much. We greatly appreciate it. They say it's exciting. They say work your own hours, be your own boss. You don't have to answer to anybody. That's crap. Everybody that has your money, the money that you want is in everybody else's checkbook, debit card, mason jar, purse, wallet, toolbox, envelope, under the seat, in the underwear drawer, wherever. Everybody else has your money, and those are all the people that you just have to answer to. And that's just the reality of being in business. So here we are at 6 a.m. headed to go pick up a dump trailer, get a bite to eat, so we can be at the landfill at 7 a.m. You don't want to know why? Because nobody I know has ever got ahead on only 40 hours a week. I'm not saying that it can't be done. I just don't know anybody that has. So I am open if somebody has been extremely successful and only works 40 hours a week. I would like to meet that person, read that book, whatever. Send me that podcast. I sure appreciate it. We're at the stoplight right here. Just saw two dump trailers go by and a crew with roofers on it. You want to know where the hustlers are at? Go to Home Depot and see who's there at 6 a.m. when the doors open. Those will tell you who the hustlers are because they're there, they've got to get the materials and then meet the crews when the crews get started. We're about to contribute to the local economy here and uh, buy some gas. This will be a $70 uh, fill up, ain't no doubt about it. That's what we call a business expense and it keeps going up and up. Them big old logger head biscuits right there. Ooh. Well, that definitely cost a few dollars to make happen right there. Old thirsty gal, but she's making money. That's what it's all about. While well, I'm sitting here eating at the gas island, just a couple things I've heard this week. There's a guy named Gerald Peters. Look him up on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube talks a lot about getting rich, building wealth. He's not a complicated person to follow, real down to earth, basic. Got a great sense of humor. One of the things he talked about was somebody was telling him that he was wasting time. One of the hustles that he has is rental properties. Imagine that, real estate, wealth, success yeah before you go any further understand 80 percent of the millionaires in this country have made it with real estate okay so somebody's telling Der gerald that he is uh wasting time doing work on his properties himself
thing about it is, Gerald enjoys doing that kind of work. Gerald talks about he finds it relaxing to paint and listen to podcasts. And he said, you know, in those nine months, I came up with some businesses that, some ideas for some businesses that I executed on. Imagine that, action. Every successful person has action, okay? I've yet to meet anybody that told me they got wealth because they were walking down the road and there was a trunk full of money in front of them that they found and then nobody claimed it, okay? So if you're waiting on finding a suitcase full of money, it will be very difficult to put that money into action and benefit from it without raising eyebrows from either the IRS or some type of law enforcement. Just a little tidbit for you. So if you're waiting on that, you better get to work. But Gerald talks about, he came up with some ideas for some businesses that have helped him become more rich, more successful, that he thought about while he was painting this house. And he said, what these people don't understand is, I enjoy doing that work. And it's a choice for me to do that work. He said, I got the money to pay the best contractors out there and do that if that's what I wanted to do. But guess what? I make a choice. And if the house, I get it done in 90 days, that's great. 30 days, that's great. If I take two years, that's great. He said, the house is paid for. He said, and I have other money coming in from other avenues. And so I'm not in a bind. I say all of this to you to get your wheels turning on how is it that you can make additional money. Maybe one day a week you cook lunches out of your kitchen and you start selling them. Or you cook a, you know, a cooler full of lumpia and you take it around to car lots. Salesmen are the easiest people to sell, okay? Trust me on that. So you get your little side hustle going or something of that nature, you know? Imagine that. Action again. You're going to have to do something. Yeah, I know it doesn't fall in your lap. It sucks. I'm sorry. Yeah, you got to get out of bed. Yep, that sucks. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry when uh, I make a choice and say, you know what? Let me get that $400 steak and the lobster tail. I'm not sorry. And yeah, I got out of bed. I got out of bed real early to be able to have that choice. Okay? Because I'm not having to say, well, supersize it. Let me get the Happy Meal. And really, folks, it comes down to it's not about the money. However, we live in a capitalist country, okay? I don't make the rules, but I got to play by them. And the more money you have, the more choices you get, okay? If it had to do with who had the most marbles got the most choices, then I'd be collecting marbles. If it had to do with head of cattle, then I'd have the most head of cattle or whatever, but it comes down to dollars. Again, realize what the rules are and learn how to play by them. You're gonna do much better in life instead of wishing things were suited to you, for you, and about you, because that ain't gonna happen, all right? You're gonna have to get out of bed, not sorry. You're gonna have to go to work, not sorry. You're gonna have to put forth some action, yeah, not sorry. I think that's going to fall on the ball just fine. This is not one of my trailers. This is a rental. And unfortunately, it was all I could get at the moment. The sides are not very high on it. Um, so there's a lot of trash that's exposed that might blow out. So we're going to stop by Home Depot and get a bunch of bungee cords and uh, secure the load better and uh we don't have that far to go to the landfill so and of course you can never have too many bungee cords that trailer's a little bit loaded up ain't it i'm here to tell you that's what working man's boots look like right there that's because there's action being taken while wearing them 
These ain't to look good. What kind of action are you taking today? Are you doing anything to get any closer to any of your goals? That idea for that business that you've thought about, are you doing anything to get it started? You must be okay with where you're at. Well, we just had some crawfish. Now we're headed home. I think I'm gonna take Tyson for a walk. And then I got a few other things.